Things you will need. Fabric scissors. Regular scissors. Some kind of paint. So I have some cheap dollar store acrylic and then some not quite as cheap uh, fabric paint. Some sort of sharp object to cut into paper with. Oops. I got this at the dollar store too. Painter's tape. A pencil. A sponge. And paint brushes. These are just the ones that I have and they're very tiny. There's these paint pot things. I got this at the dollar store. One sheet of blank paper. An old t-shirt that you have since destroyed and cut the pattern out of. I cut the designs out of shirts so often, so I just have a whole bunch lying around. Something to cut onto. This is an art book, but you can use like a cutting board. They sell those at the dollar store too. I will also be using my computer. So this is kind of the easiest part, choosing a design. Maybe sometimes it isn't, but today it is. So I'm just going to do Nine Inch Nails logo and go into images and find one that I like. There we go. So I chose this design just because it's something that um, will face a problem. So you can't cut out the full square of this just because the design will fall out from the center of it. That's basically why I chose this so then I can like kind of give tips. So here it is and it's far too large. And, uh... So now I have my design here all the right size that I want it to be. So I just set this piece of paper up against my computer and put a little piece of tape there to hold oh to hold it on. Now, in order to get all the right proportions, I am going to just trace this onto the piece of paper. Which I don't do every time, and I don't think you should do every time, because it's like literally stealing, but sometimes the funds just ain't there. I do think that definitely if uh, you're going to be doing smaller bands that need support, um, just buy a patch. Like, honestly, this is not the most, like, moral way to be making patches. Sometimes you just want something. This is a big band. They don't really need my money at this point. I think Trent Reznor's doing fine. But a band like Hands Off Gretel or Pretty Addicted or any bands like that, buy a patch. Support them. Help them out. Please. <laughs> That's another, uh, reason kind of, that I picked Nine Inch Nails. So, easy peasy, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just turn up the brightness. This is mostly just for proportion, especially with the Nine Inch Nails logo. This isn't my greatest tracing work, just because my arms are around a camera right now. And so, right here is where I'm going to put a break. And these two spots, right here, you'll be able to see them a little bit better when I take the piece of paper off. I'm not going to cut these out, and I'm just going to continue them with paint after I'm done my stencil. So, it's not perfect, but you've got like the basic outline of what you want here. And you can also use a ruler, especially with a design like this. So now I am just going to take my ruler and fix my lines. They're extra messed up because of the weird angle I had to sit at. I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about my nails. I usually have them done and I've said that a couple times and they're just like never done so I guess they're not always done. And this is the line that we're going to take all the way to the end. This is what we're leaving. So now our design is successfully on the paper. Yay! I'm taking my painter's tape and just covering over the entire design and leaving some space. Oops. It doesn't matter if it's wrinkled. It doesn't matter. And then 
flip it around and do the same thing on the back. And there we have it, a design under some tape. So now I'm just going to cut this a little bit so it doesn't get in my way. So now it's time for the fun part. So you can do this with a ruler. I can see the line here still. You might not be able to, but I can. So I take my blade and start at one side oh, and go across to the other. So if you turn it around, you can see the cuts you just made. The top is done. There we go. Our first hole has been cut. So now I'm going to take my ruler just so they're all even. And because of the way Nine Inch Nails has their their logo designed, this is simple. Now we shall do the bottom. Apparently we're not using the cork feature on my uh, very lovely ruler that I got at the dollar store also. So now the eye should be ready to come out. And if this happens, just go back over your line. And there you go. The eye has been cut. So now I'm just going to continue to follow my lines all the way across. And there it is, with all of its pieces cut out. And that is a completed stencil. This is my t-shirt. Now, I'm just going to tape it on here. So I'm going to start with fabric paint, just so I'm 100% sure it's going to stay on. And then I'm going to go over top with acrylic just to just to make it show up better. This is the fabric paint. And I'm just putting it on the sponge. And bamity bam. Try not to get too much on because like it's just tape. And it can bleed underneath, so you have to be careful. There we go. So there is our first layer of fabric paint. So you can go over it a couple more times. I'll leave it. One layer is fine. I can hand paint the rest. And that's what I'm left with. It's not perfect. We've got some problems here and here. But that's okay. Because we have the basic outline. So issues like this here is what we use black paint. Or, like, if we have little pieces that are bleeding, I just go over them very, very lightly with black paint. It doesn't look perfect, but, like, this is a, a self-made patch anyways, so. I'm going to fill in these gaps with the same fabric paint. I know this looks super janky right now, but it won't. <laughs> So I'm just going to clean up some edges here too. Basically just doing like a second layer with the fabric paint to fix anything that the stencil didn't catch. So there it is after my second layer of fabric paint and now over top of this I'm going to put some acrylic paint. The acrylic paint is just a little bit more opaque. So we're getting really close now. It's almost done. I just have to wait for it to dry and then I have a couple more things to clean up around here. And then I might do one more layer, but... Oh. 
So there it is after I've cleaned it up a little bit. It's not perfect, but I don't know, it's DIY. I don't think it's really supposed to be perfect. I use fabric scissors just because they're sharper and they're meant for fabric. But there's the finished product. There it is. I'm just going to sew it on this sweater. I'm just going to pin it in place now. And there you go. There's a couple stitches. And just continue that all the way around. And there it is all sewn on and everything. Yay!